photo by Ed Delany, MMO Rochester, 2-5-8, Syracuse, 5-2, two box score after giving up an early 2-0 lead in the top half of the first inning, a walk by Danny Espinosa followed by singles for Jai Davis and Travis Tigerin set up the chance for an immediate return inning in the bottom half of the inning. Reimer Liriano would drive one in by drawing an RBI walk but Syracuse was unable to cash in anymore as Dilson Herrera flied out and Tim Tebow struck out with the bases still loaded. In the bottom of the second inning, after a David Thompson leadoff walk, the Mets would score one more on a RBI double by Rene Rivera to tie this up at 2-2. Unfortunately, the Syracuse offense would go quiet after that netting only two base hits the rest of the way. LHP Hector Santiago, 0-1, 4.50 ERA, 5.0 IP, 4H, 3R, 3R, 7K, 0BB, Los LHP Ryan O'Rourke, 6.00 ERA, 3.0 IP, 2H, 0R, 1K RHP Jacob Rame, 14.73 ERA, 1.0 IP, 3H, 5R, 4R, 2K, 2BB Despite allowing an early two-run home run to Weil and Rosario in the first inning, Hector Santiago settled in and turned in a solid start allowing only two hits the rest of the way while striking out a total of seven batters. Being not fully stretched out yet, Santiago was taken out after only 75 pitches and replaced by fellow lefty Ryan O'Rourke who turned in an excellent three-inning performance to keep Syracuse within striking distance. The Red Wings would blow the doors open though in the top of the ninth inning scoring five runs against right-hander Jacob Rame who allowed three hits and two walks in the inning. Bo by Ed Delany, MMO St. Lucie, 4-3, 4, Tampa, 2-5, 3 box score the Port Street. Lucy Mets racked up 19 total base runners but struggled to cash in on their numerous opportunities as they went 2 for 13 with runners in scoring position leaving 12 runners on base. They did score 4 runs on the night with 3 of them coming during Quinn Brody's at-bats. In the bottom of the first inning with no outs and the bases loaded, Brody grounded into a 6-3 double play but it allowed Blake to bury to score on the play to give the Mets a 1-0 lead. In the bottom of the third inning, Brody once again came to the plate with the bases loaded and no outs and hit a ball deep enough to left field to allow Blake to bury to score on the sacrifice fly. Hansel Moreno was also able to score on the same play due to a throwing error by the Tarpons 3B Oswald Cabrera. The Mets' fourth run of the day came in the bottom of the fifth inning with the bases loaded, again, and two outs when Cody Bohannock drove and Desmond Lindsay on an RBI single to give the Mets a 4-0 lead. RHP Briam Camposano, 1-1, 2.35 ERA, 5.0 IP, 2H, 0R, 3K, 1BB, win RHP Marcel Renteria, 8.10 ERA, 2.0 IP, 3H, 3R, 3R, 3K, 0BB RHP Connor O'Neill, 0.00 ERA, 2.0 IP, 1H, 0 or 1K, save 1, Camposano was pressed into emergency service as the game's original scheduled starter, Tommy Wilson, was unable to take the field as he was still feeling the side effects of a hit-and-run vehicle accident he was victim of. He would give the team five super-efficient innings of shutout baseball as he allowed only two hits and struck out three with only 42 pitches. The Tarpons would cut into the Mets' lead in the bottom of the seventh inning as RF Tyler Hill would launch a three-run homer off Marcel Renteria to make the score 4-3. Connor O'Neill though would shut the door on the Tarpons' comeback attempt with a two-innings shutdown performance to nail down his first save of the season Columbia, 3-3, 2, Rome, 1-5, 0 box score SS Ronnie Mauricio, 1-4, for four, caught stealing, 0.333, 0.385, 0.3333B Mark Vientos, 0-3. R, B, B, K, 0 0.167, 0 0.360, 0 0.167, R, F, Jose Miguel Medina, 1 for 1, R, B, I, 1, B, B, Sack Fly, 0 0.267, 0 0.333, 0 0.267, the Fireflies' offense was quiet for most of the night but the two runs they did score ended up being enough to get the team's third win of the season.
in the bottom of the second inning after back-to-back -back singles by Juan Uriarte and Brian Sharp to lead off the inning, Jose Medina would send a fly ball deep enough to left field to allow Uriarte to score from third base to give the Fireflies a 1-0 lead. The team's second run would come in the bottom of the sixth inning in odd fashion. With the bases loaded and of Bradley Marquez the plate, Braves RHP Luis Mora balked for the second time in the inning allowing Vientos to score giving Colombia a 2-0 lead. RHP Simeon Woods Richardson, 3.86 air F3.0 IP, 2H, 0R, 2K RHP Willie Taveras, 1-0, 0.00 air F5.0 IP, 4H, 0R, 4K, win RHP Ezekiel Zabalita, 0.00 air F2.0. A P, 1H, 0R, 2K, save 2, Woods Richardson, Taveras, and Zabaleta combined to shut out the Rome Braves today allowing only 6 hits, striking out 8, and not walking a single batter. Woods Richardson looked solid today but was limited to only 41 pitches as the Mets continue to bring him along slowly while managing his workload. Taveras turned in his second straight solid piggyback performance adding to his four innings of shutout ball his last time out. Zabletta earned his second save of the season turning in his fourth straight clean inning to open the 2019 season. The doubleheader scheduled between the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Portland Sea Dogs was postponed due to inclement weather.